In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we link our JavaScript code to HTML pages. Hi, this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to JavaScript Snippets, a series of tutorials where we look at some of the essential tasks that you need to do with JavaScript as a junior developer. If you have a second, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below so that you don't miss out on any of these essential training tutorials. So maybe you've been following some courses or tutorials online and you've been learning about JavaScript, but you don't actually know how to start working with it with HTML pages. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to make that connection and link your JavaScript code to HTML so that they can work together. So we have a really simple HTML page here, index.html, and I've stripped out some of the more common tags so that it's really simplified so you can see what's going on. So we're going to add a small bit of JavaScript which will replace the text on the page. And the first thing we need to do is to create a script tag to actually run our JavaScript. So inside the script tag, we can write pretty much anything which is valid JavaScript. But just so we can see it's working, I'm going to actually replace the text on the page by first of all selecting the document and then accessing the body tag and setting the inner HTML of that body to a new H1 element. So now when the page loads, you'll see the contents of body has been replaced and the existing H1 hello world tag has now been replaced. So that's pretty much all you need to get your JavaScript working with HTML, but there are a couple of things you should know about to make your life a bit easier. The first thing is, it's always a good idea to separate all of your HTML, CSS and JavaScript into separate files. It just makes it easier to work with and to track down problems when they occur. So if I copy the code that we have here to replace the text on the page, and I can put that into a separate JavaScript file, which I've just called script.js for this tutorial. And if we save that file and also the index page as well, you'll see we revert to our existing h1 hello world tag. So we need to tell this page where our JavaScript file is located. And we do that in our script tag just by specifying another attribute, which is source. And we just pass in the name of the JavaScript file. And we can close up this tag just to make it a little bit neater. So you can see now when the page reloads, we're loading that JavaScript in from a separate file. The second thing to be wary of is where you actually place this script tag. So I've placed it just before the close of the body tag in this example, but it can go pretty much anywhere in your HTML page. And another common place for it to go is in the head tag. But now it looks like the actual code hasn't run. And the reason for this is that code is actually run before the body tag itself has been constructed. So the code will work and it will run, but because the body tag is constructed after that in the document flow, it kind of gets overwritten and the actual function of the code is lost in the page load. The other danger of putting scripts into the head of your HTML page is that they can block the rest of the page load. So if in our script.js file, there was lots of function calls and lots of loops that kind of slowed down the page because they were taking lots of time to actually finish running, then that would actually have a knock-on effect and cause your page to load slower, which is not great for the user experience. So generally the convention is to put it just before the close of the body tag, so it gives the rest of the page time to load and doesn't slow down the experience for the user. So that's it for this tutorial. Just remember to put your scripts in separate files and then load them in with a script tag with the source attribute. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of those other essential JavaScript snippet tutorials.